Hey guys, it's Nicole and I'm back. I have some work shelf workbook activities. Not too many this week. Um, we've been kind of keeping it casual, just coming off the of Thanksgiving break. But one thing that I wanted to focus on is while we're kind of in vacation mode is to cover some of the topics that we haven't really been able to do um, during the semester. And one thing that I really wanted to get more of is um, health. Uh, for my kindergartner's portfolio, I want to supplement and add some more health activities. So here are some activities that I found, again, printables on the internet that are cheap or free that I put together to make some a uh, couple of work shelf activities and um, some workbook activities. So here we go. So for my kindergartner's workbook this week, I'm going to be including his um, My Food Groups book. I found this book online for free, and I definitely will include all the links at the bottom. And I think the big part of my workbook work shelf activities that I find is that they're free. They're free printables. You don't have to spend any money on them, just whatever printer ink, printer ink or supplies you already have at home. So I thought this one was really cute. It's my food group's book. What I do is I cut um, the first page down and I put it on cardstock so that it'll be a little bit more sturdy. And I put his name on it. And we've been having conversations about what are good foods, what are the food groups, what are healthy foods, what are not healthy foods. So um, we will be beginning this workbook today. So here we'll have the dairy book group. And what I have decided we're gonna do is cut out some pictures from magazines. So I have a few magazines that I'm going to have him actually find some dairy pictures or if we can't find them we'll just print them off the internet and glue them here for healthy bones and healthy teeth tell me what food you can eat. So I thought this was really cute because each page um, covers the different food groups circle the food groups that the dairy that belong in the dairy group and list reasons why you would why dairy foods help for strong bones so that's the dairy section and then it goes into protein my favorite food from the protein group is um, name four foods from the protein group and check whether the food comes from an animal or a plant things of that nature so it goes on through each one and I, I just thought it was really cute and child friendly and it'll be an actual um, project that we can do for the month of December um, before we really get back into full mode in January with um, our new topics. So here I found this again another printable we already did this this is my two and three year olds um, <laughs> They did this yesterday, pretty much is for dental hygiene. So as we relate to nutrition, we were talking about dental hygiene as well, and the foods that you're supposed to eat in order to maintain healthy teeth. So, and which is funny because they just went to the dentist last week. So this all corresponds with that. So this printable was really cute because it has each tooth and it has the things that are healthy and not healthy. And then they, I just had them sort um, all the happy foods you put on top of the happy tooth, all the sad foods or the bad foods you put on top of the bad tooth. And then after that, I had them paste it on here. <clears throat> and then I just wrote bad tooth. And this is my two-year-old's idea of writing bad tooth. <laughs> and happy tooth. And this is my three-year-old. He wrote his name on the side here, Levi. So this was really simple and expensive. Inexpensive, cheap, fun. Um, my kindergartner did his as well, but I already put his in his portfolio. So I put his away in the part portfolio already. But this is the two and three year olds version of this activity. Um, so as for the shelf activities, I found this printable, um, these printable flashcards on um, online. And again, I'll link this to the description box below. Here's a simplified version for my two and three year old. Pretty much I have, <clears throat> I'll put out these cards across the top of the table. Fruit, vegetables, dairy, grain, etc. And I'll have them select the appropriate card to put. And I say, okay, which one looks like a vegetable? This is vegetables. Which one is a vegetable? And then they will place it where it belongs. Vegetable. This is vegetable. With the two-year-old, I'll have to show him first, and then we go back over and he'll do it 
um, himself. Now with the three-year-old, <clears throat> he gets it. What's a fruit? Fruit. And he'll just put, find from the stack, what is a fruit? Dairy. He'll find from the stack what is categorized as dairy. And this is after we've already had this conversation that we've had about the food groups and the categories. Grains and finally protein. And then they'll stack it like that. So this is the simplified version for if you have preschoolers or toddlers. Um, it's just a one-to-one -one match sorting game, okay? Now, you really want to get a little complicated <laughs> for my five-year-old. I Again, I just, when they're done, I just take it and I take the, the title or the, the groups cards. Hold on a second. For his tray. And then what I do is, this is intensive. There's about... 12 cards per food group in this printable so um, what I have him do is I pretty much I hand him the tray but it ends up spreading across this entire table when we're done and but he actually really enjoys it so for dairy here's the dairy stack I've categorized it already but what he would do is stack I'd mix these all up and he'd just sort by type. There is no heading for um, the junk food pile and there's only about three or four junk food. So those are the ones I like. Okay, now put the, the bad foods to the side. So they included a picture of, and I laminated most of these already with um, my packing tape. So here's a cookie, here's some McDonald's french fries, I believe there's a donut in here as well. So I have him discard those to the side and focus on categorizing the healthy foods. And what I especially like about this printable is that because our family is vegetarian, they have provided an, um, an, an awesome ar array of really good um, grouping or spread of dairy I mean not dairy protein items so they have fish and they have beans and they have you know I believe this is a ham they have almonds in here they got bacon they have eggs you know they have a variety of things it's not just you know like a big slice of meat they actually include like nuts and beans and fish and eggs so that my kids can understand okay even though we might not eat some of these foods these are the types of things that are categorized as proteins and here are the kinds of things that we eat and here are the kind of things that we we try not to eat too much of so it, it goes into a very detailed conversation with my five-year-old concerning um the foods and I found these um, two posters that I had laying around in the house and didn't even realize it. What is a vegetable? A vegetable is an edible part of a plant that does not contain the seed. Vegetables are usually the roots, stems, or leaves of plants. So we've been talking about the different kinds. <clears throat> also, the kind of um, the kind of vitamins that you get from certain kinds of vegetables that I found in this this one vegetables five a day really cool for my five-year-old he's been very interested in what what kind of um, vitamin do you get from celery and so we'll look it up based on our chart so that's pretty much what we've been doing in terms of sorry about the focus in terms of our um, food and nutrition and health for this week and I will build on this unit so this is something we're going to be doing more of this month so I hope you enjoyed these and I'll definitely link the printables um, in the description box below have a great day guys bye